also did a phone interview where she confirmed that she was safe and that she wasn't harmed. A former FBI agent who used to work with missing and exploited children has said the following about the video interview. He said that based off of her choices of words and how she was talking, he figured that she didn't think that she was a victim. He said that it used to be called Stockholm Syndrome and is now called trauma bonding, but essentially it's very common in missing and exploited children's cases for the victim to not realize that they're a victim or that they were in danger. He also said that he definitely thinks a crime was committed in this case. He said that there is a very low probability probability that someone else wasn't involved and they have to question that other person's motives. And that as the investigation proceeds, he definitely thinks that there will be charges made. Alicia has also talked to her mother over the phone and FaceTime call, and they had a very emotional and loving reunion. Authorities have also said that no matter what happens, Alicia is not in trouble, there will be no charges against her, and that the main focus is just getting her back to having a happy, healthy, and normal life.